Welcome. Today we dive straight into understanding the concept of Big O notation, its definition, importance, computations, and real-world applications. Big O notation describes the maximum growth rate of time complexity as the size of the input increases. It's a tool we use to emphasize the worst-case scenario in computer science. Consider its role when evaluating the scalability of an algorithm's performance when facing an increasing data set or peak operational loads. In other words, it helps us determine if our algorithm effectively handles larger inputs without collapsing under the pressure. A practical example is when we're searching for an item in an unsorted list. The time complexity is O of N, implying that time requirements increase linearly with the number of items. However, if we implement a binary search in a sorted list, the time complexity becomes O log of N, indicating improved efficiency as items increase. This is akin to grocery shopping. The more registers open, the faster we check out, mirroring the efficiency of the binary search. Diving into big O notation, consider it as an indicator of the worst case upper limit of complexity. For example, if a loop runs in times, the complexity is succinctly expressed as O of N. This gets interesting when we discern the importance of focusing on the highest order term. In complexity analysis, our interest lies mostly in the term experiencing the most rapid increase. As such, we usually overlook constants and smaller order terms. Imagine a function such as f of n equals 3n squared plus 5n plus 7. The big O notation of this function is O of n squared. Why? As n increases, the n squared term dominates, rendering the 5n and 7 terms insignificant. This underlines the value of concentrating on the term with the highest growth rate, the crux of big O notation. Armed with this understanding, we're now ahead in the efficiency analysis of algorithm performance. Focusing now on the practical impact of big O notation, we're dealing with a fundamental principle in the realm of algorithm efficiency. With increased input size, the notation gauges how system performance would scale. This understanding becomes paramount when working with expansive data sets. Consider, for instance, sorting algorithms. Selection sort is a prevalent example which exhibits a big O notation of ON squared. This implies with the rise in the number of data items or N, the time for execution would shoot up exponentially, reaching even the square of N. However, we could flip this scenario on its head. Algorithms optimized for better performance seek those with smaller big O notations, such as O of N, particularly for extensive datasets. By doing so, they can serve computational time, enhancing the overall efficiency, a testament to the pivotal role of big O notation in algorithm optimization. We previously focused on the theoretical topic of algorithm time complexity and big O notation. Let's now explore some examples. We encounter various time complexities in our journey through computer science, including constant O1, linear ON, quadratic ON squared, exponential O2 to the power of N, and logarithmic O log of N. For instance, a function exhibiting linear time complexity ON is one like find max data in Python. This function iteratively checks each element of a list and retains the maximum identified value. The time complexity becomes linear as it must review each element to identify the maximum, thus correlating directly with the size of the input. Remember, understanding these complexities is not for academic purposes only, but a meaningful tool to formulate efficient algorithms, specifically in times of large data volumes, where every computational instruction counts for performance enhancement. Space complexity relates to the total memory that an algorithm requires, taking into account both the input size and constants. On the other hand, time complexity is focused on the worst case step count as the input size grows. Understanding both factors is key when considering algorithm performance. Let's delve into the tug of war between these two aspects. When we evaluate a nested loop for finding duplicates, the space complexity is efficient at O1, but the trade-off is that the time complexity shoots up to ON squared. When we consider a hash table, we manage to balance the scales. The hash table's space and time complexities are both ON, avoiding excessive time execution or space usage. When working with small, space-sensitive lists, nested loops prove optimal. By observing these trade-offs and balancing them, 
we can craft effective algorithms. Building on this insight, you'll see Big O notation quantifies worst-case efficiency. Let's consider a linear search algorithm, which involves sequential inspection of each item until the target is discovered. Big O calculation for this algorithm involves detecting the worst-case scenario. Either the target lies at the end of the list or is absent. This would necessitate inspecting all N elements, leading us to identify this as O of N, within representing the total elements. This pivotal understanding of big O notation helps us predict an algorithm's performance scalability. Specifically for our linear search example, the O of N categorization indicates a linear increase in execution time relative to the size of the data set, an essential distinction when ensuring effective algorithm implementation. Growth rates play a crucial role in understanding the intricacies of algorithms. Picture an interactive graph with an adjustable and value reflecting input size. Shifting and alters the graph shape, providing a vivid depiction of how algorithm efficiency varies with input size. Now observe the O of N complexity on this graph. Notice the linear incline, showing that time requirements increase in direct proportion to N. In contrast, the O of N squared complexity graph curve skyrockets, indicating inefficiency as an expands. But the minimal slope for O log of N complexity, it highlights an algorithm's resistance to input size, maintaining efficiency even as N grows. This visualization paints a clear picture of algorithm efficiency, crucial to navigating performance issues. As we advance, we'll dissect these complexities in detail, shedding light on their impact on algorithm performance. Big O notation is pivotal in real-world applications such as database systems. It bestows them with efficient sorting and searching capabilities. For instance, the optimization of an online search algorithm can be achieved through smart ranking of search results, enabling quick retrieval of data. A prime example is the utilization of Big O with a time complexity of O log of N, significantly enhancing operations like sorting by last access date. Furthermore, Industry scalability and performance are directly influenced by algorithm efficiency. Simplicity in an algorithm correlates with its optimal performance. An algorithm operating at O log of N can manage more queries with ease, enabling scalability and reducing operational costs. Thus, the understanding and application of big O notation have profound implications on practical scenarios, emphasizing its significance in computer science. Big O notation plays a crucial role in the realm of algorithm analysis. It's used to quantify the maximum execution time or space usage of an algorithm relative to the size of the input, focusing primarily on the worst case scenario. When we talk about the upper bound in the context of Big O notation, we're referring to the asymptotic upper limit. This gives us the theoretical cap on complexity that an algorithm won't exceed, no matter how large the input. For instance, a loop running in times has an upper bound of O of N. This notation is pivotal in identifying inefficiencies in an algorithm and guiding the process of optimizing it. On a practical level, knowing the big O helps in boosting software performance, enhancing scalability, and leveraging resources efficiently, qualities deemed critical in software engineering and database management. Big O notation can be mastered by correctly identifying the complexities of various algorithms. Remember that O of N complexity scales with the size of the data, while O log of N complexity signifies that data subsets are reduced progressively, improving the efficiency. It is equally important to understand the implications of the different complexity levels in the efficiency of programs. For instance, an algorithm with constant time complexity O of 1 signifies peak efficiency, while an algorithm with a time complexity of O of N log of N is good for sorting algorithms. An understanding of big O analysis also enables us to tailor our algorithms according to our data and needs. For example, if we need to make fast queries in a large database, an algorithm with O log of N complexity would be efficient. In essence, mastering big O notation is essential for the creation of efficient programs.